Hey, thanks so much for tuning into the Daily Dose for Spiritual Growth. Happy Friday, everyone. We're going to be in Genesis chapter 49. And this is this is uh, Jacob's uh, last words to his sons. And this is the encouragement for every single one of us is to find people that are a little bit older than us or maybe even a lot older than us and gain and glean wisdom from them. They have experienced life. They have learned. They have grown. They have gone through trials. They've gone through uncertainties. And especially people um, who are Christ followers, who understand the depths and the wisdom of uh, God being their father, God being their shepherd, which we talked about um, uh, Jacob telling his sons and blessing them and saying, hey, all of my life, I've experienced the goodness of God. All of my life, my life has not been perfect, but man, he has been my good shepherd. I want to encourage you to find people um, that you can glean that wisdom um, and you can gain that insight from. And I don't know about you, but I absolutely love that. That's actually one of my favorite things to do is to sit down with people that are older than me, that have more experience than me and just glean and gain uh, from their wisdom. And God speaks to me uh, through them. And so I want to encourage you to do this is exactly what uh, Jacob is doing with his son. Listen to the first couple of verses in uh, chapter 49. And then Jacob called together all of his sons and said, gather around me and I will tell you what will happen to each of you in the days to come. Verse two, come and listen, you sons of Jacob, listen to Israel, your father. Now, Everything that he's saying here, the blessings and the curses and things like that are all conditional. Um, and he's talking about obedience here. It's like, if you are obedient to God, blessings will naturally come. If you are disobedient, then curses will go uh, and follow you. And so it's really no different than today. I mean, just think about your children, your grandchildren. You honor and you bless obedience. And then you correct and you um, you discipline when they're disobedient. It's no different, right? And so we have to understand here that um, that we can gain wisdom, obviously from God, obviously from the word of God right here. But today I want to encourage you, just like how Jacob um, gives that wisdom, gains that, that uh, gives that insight to his sons, I want to encourage you to find people in your life. And now if you are of the older generation, I want to encourage you to be generous, to be generous with your words to be generous with your encouragement to the younger generation because um, they need to learn. They need to grow. They need to be challenged. And so let's choose to do that. So wherever you find yourself in the younger spectrum or in the older spectrum, wherever you are at, um, we have a job to do. And that is to come together, be multi-generational, coming together, learning and growing from one another. Let's choose to do that. Um, let's choose to find those types of people in our lives where we can give that encouragement and we can gain uh, that encouragement, that insight and wisdom. Hey, thanks so much for tuning in. Make sure you tune in tomorrow for the Daily Dose for Spiritual Growth. Mm-hmm.